Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to get the weather up in your menu bar and it's right up here. It just shows the temperature. If it obviously showed the whole forecast, that would um, just kind of take up the whole um, whole menu bar pretty much. But you can click on it and go to the forecast and then it'll just load it up through the internet. It's not just going to pop it up through here. Or you can do radar, some other stuff. But um, I have a link in the description and um, click on that and this is for Mac it's called um, weather bug alert for Mac um, they have an app in the app store for iPads and I believe iPhones called weather bug elite it's a pretty cool app I recommend you go try that out or download it but um, they also have this for Mac I recently found this about a week ago or probably a little more than that but whatever and then you can either click free download or download the zip file it's the same thing It's going to download, but um, I already have it, so I'm just going to go ahead. Also, just unzip it and then open it up, and it'll just be basic instructions like you know, to drag it to your applications folder. And then once you've done that, open it up. It's right here. There's the icon, and that loads up up here. And you just um, click on it, go to settings. Um, it'll give you like alerts if there's like tornadoes or flood warning or fire, like wildfires or something like that, or maybe it's just all these different things. There's 23 different ones and you can set it on which one for the 23 alerts, 13 just lower, totally off if you don't want any alerts. <coughs> Sorry. And it does come in Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can have it launch at startup, check for updates, and silence it between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. like when people wake up because they don't want it alerting them if it's thunderstorms in the night because they don't really care. I have my computer off anyways and then click save and then you can go and click change location so you can enter up your enter your location um, I don't live in New York um, I just put that to because um, I live somewhere in Kansas but I want to tell you I just put that for the video purposes but I want to show you guys what it looks like to search so I'm just going to put Los Angeles and then it's going to pop up with all the ones right here you're just going to click the little arrow next to Los Angeles and it'll give you one um, like an actual building or an actual like company or something like that um, like if you are have like a baseball team like here's Dodger Stadium or if there's like a zoo or um, fire station stuff like that school it'll put that there but it says like you know 3.23 miles away or you know stuff like that I'm not sure I'm away from what because I don't live in LA, so it's not away from like right here, my house. Um, I'm just guessing maybe from like a weather station they have in LA or something like that. But it's only three miles away from somewhere in LA, so it's good enough t for me. I'm gonna click save, and then it's got these two bars. And once it loads up like that, it'll show 88 degrees. And um, it'll just keep automatically updating itself every now and then. And it'll just keep it like that. Um, if there's alerts right now, you can view them, keep your eye on those, or to visit their website, previous locations, leave some feedback, tell somebody else, which I'm doing now through video, or you can just like look up a version and um, some legal crap. And that's it. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and donate.